this is Tom. Just want to share a few thoughts with you. We all like to get excited about our favorite sports team and jump about when they win a close game. Folks that win millions in the lottery or thousands of dollars a week for life in the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes think they have hit the ultimate jackpot. Sadly, all too many seem too focused on these and other brief delights and forget about the everlasting rewards that await those that look to their Lord Jesus for hope. Our sinful nature we were born with draws us away from God. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Big sin, little sin, doesn't matter. You sin and you pay the ultimate price along with problems that sin brings into your current life. There will be a great white throne judgment and every sin committed, every sin hid from family and friends will be brought forward and examined. All those that appear in that court of justice will be found guilty and be thrown into eternal separation or hell. Well, now the good news and something you really get excited about. We have a way out. Realizing that God's perfect law does not change and that sin requires the ultimate penalty we find ourselves in need of a Savior. When Jesus was on earth, the disciples asked him, How could anyone be saved? He responded, With man it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. What does this mean? It means that the death penalty for your sins is now pending. That is, it has already been paid for and you're off the hook, and you're free if you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You do not have to appear at the great white throne judgment. Your sins are not just forgiven, but forgotten. And as a bonus gift, Jesus has made plans for a new world and wants you to be with him in a new perfect body and find peace, joy, and love forever. Who did this for us? Who loved me so much that he took the punishment I deserve? Well, it was Jesus Christ. There will also be another judgment, a judgment for saved Christians, and this will take place following the rapture. There, rewards will be given to those that supported the Lord's work. Sadness will fill the hearts of those attending, whose efforts while on earth would be found to be bad or just worthless. You know, Jesus came to teach and die. He took all your sins upon himself. He was beaten, his skin ripped to shreds, and he died the most agonizing death of crucifixion. He paid that price of sin for us. His work is for all to believe in him, and his will is for no one to be lost. We must acknowledge our sinfulness and take Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Sounds too simple? Well, our Lord made it just that way. Simple. It's called grace, and it is truly amazing. Once you take the gift of forgiveness into your heart, you will want to turn away or repent of your sins. There will be failures, but you will continue to try. You will also want to tell others about this good news. Jesus promised he was making a place for us to be with him. In times, prophecy is now being fulfilled. Many Christian leaders believe Jesus may be coming soon for those that have placed their trust in him. This is called the rapture of the church. The Bible tells us that following this catching up or rapture, there will be great tribulation. It will be a time here on earth of God's wrath upon a rebellious and unbelieving world. After seven years of this tribulation period, which is described as the worst period of time in earth's history, Jesus will return with the church to set up his kingdom here on earth. Time is short. Believe in what he has done. Watch the signs spoken of in the Bible, especially in and around Israel. You will meet the Lord. Be sure to meet him as a friend.